Welcome. Also in this video we take a look at Level Earth Observer. Crane driver from UK who thinks he is an expert on space. This time he talks about balloons, rockets, and the full moon. Today I will try to get into his TV to try to ask him questions. Over to Leo. This is an illustration of the new moon in the heliocentric model. Now, this is something I posed six years ago. But what happens on a new moon? Put some thoughts out there. As usual, got attacked massively. I heard Dell the other day from beyond the imaginary curve mention a rocket. Just firing straight up. It's not the first time he's mentioned it. He's mentioned it a few times over the years. And so is Dan Pratt. So shout out to both those guys. And of course, it got, it got me thinking again. Back to the new moon, back to the rocket, and back to a balloon launch, possibly tying it all in at the same time, to see what's going on with the new moon. Leo, excuse me for disturbing, but what are you talking about? Full moon, balloons, and rockets? Have you been inspired by Daniel Pratt and Dell? None of them are rocket scientists. To see what's going on at high altitude. And to film from high altitude with balloons. Not only the new moon, the new moon even. But rocket launches taking off. Cameras on the rocket, cameras on the balloon, filming the rocket launch. Leo. Why should you film rockets from balloons? Can you explain? From a side angle, seeing how this thing moves and does it slow down at certain elevation, getting a great nice side profile. Bearing in mind, we want this thing to just keep going into the heliocentric space forever and ever being filmed or filming for us. And obviously filming from the balloons as far as possible. I know that's not going to happen, but this is what I'm proposing. I'm proposing to do it on a new moon. I still do not understand, why would anyone send up a balloon and film a rocket that is launched? It would also be a potential problem, balloons are difficult to control and when launching rockets you do not want to risk colliding with things. Now imagine 20 miles up, filming a rocket launch. How amazing would that be? Imagine being 20 miles up and having a rocket launch off a balloon and filming it from another balloon. How amazing would that be? Now how amazing would it be to film a new moon as well at the same time? So you think NASA should invest money in launching a rocket from one balloon and filming it from another balloon? At the same time filming the full moon? Have you smoked some strange mushrooms or taken pills you should not have taken? You have no idea what it takes to launch a rocket. A giant balloon would be required to lift everything. Which is not the only problem, would have to make a very long list to address all the problems with that idea. So wouldn't it be great to film the new moon? Other balloons taking off as cross-referencing themselves and rocket launches going up. Filming the rocket launches from high elevation, side on, with this kind of view. Seeing how their propulsion is affected, the higher they get, would be fantastic. Who wouldn't want to see these things? Anyone genuine would jump at the chance for this. We should all be pushing for this. This ends it all. All the silliness, all the doubt. If you're struggling because of the propaganda, this ends it all. Send rockets up and balloons on a new moon. You get everything.
all in one there. No, no curved lenses. And we do, we have a, all have a look. Anyone on the fence can see, Globies can see, people, globe skeptics, level earthers, flat earthers, whoever can see. I'm honest enough to accept whatever the results are. I can accept it. If this rocket somehow just suddenly started leaving and then the straight horizon started to slowly bend and become a spinning ball, you know, it, it would, wouldn't devastate me. It would shock me. I'd be amazed because that would mean demonstrable reality is wrong. But yeah, if the footage stood up to scrutiny and the balloons and everything else tied in with it, that would be pretty, very interesting indeed. But I'd be honest enough to accept that. I don't think that's going to happen whatsoever. There's a substance of water and tower grains. And demonstrable reality tells me that. Why would NASA or anyone else invest the enormous amount of money that you wish would cost? To convince a crane operator from the UK and some other flat earth fanatics that space is not fake and that the earth is not flat? NASA and others who could do this totally ignore if you think the earth is flat and that space is fake. The majority of the earth's population also totally obliterates what you and other flat earth clowns think. Those who are interested in discussing with you are some flat earth debunkers like me and those who follow our channels. We don't have the money it would take to accomplish what you want. Obviously you lack more knowledge than I thought, you have no idea how a rocket works. Quite comical in fact that you couldn't help but mention your beloved tower cranes. That's all, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more material.